Spike the Superstar by S. One day Spike the Magical Magician heard his phone call. He answered saying, Hello, who is it? I am a very busy man slash lady, you know. I know, I know, but my Chihuahua Choco is stuck up a tree. I was wondering if you could come and get him. Just in case you were wondering, Spikes also works for the Fire Brigade, St. John and the police. Okay, okay, he said. I'll be there in a tick of your clock. And he was. When Spikes arrived, the lady was not there, but he slash she heard a shuffling noise. Da, da, da. Spike screamed for help as a heavy object was thrown on top of him slash her. He slash she could not see anything because someone had pepper sprayed him slash her. Then all was quiet. All the mischief makers had, had gone home. He slash she thought, I'll try and smell my way. Spikes managed to get the bar off and get up, but then he slash she heard someone talking. He slash she heard them saying, Do not let that silly man go or you're fired! Fired, fired, fired. He said. The other man said, Okay, okay, but didn't I do a good job of imitating Mrs. Green's voice? Yes, you did. Oh, and don't let her go either. We will pepper spray her and her kids later. Yes, sir. Spikes lay down, worrying what to do. And then the nice man walked by, saying, That was so mean to want to kill Spikes and Mrs. Green. All I want to do is save them. Spikes spoke and said, Well, why don't you save us then? The man replied with, I can't. I'm under a spell. That won't let me touch you or Mrs. Green's family. Unless you run away. Why don't I run away and distract the mean guy? And you can save Mrs. Green's family, Spike said. It's worth a go. And oh, by the way, my name is Silly Soul. Funny name, isn't it? No, I like it myself. Oh well, let's give this plan a go. Yes, what? Ahoy there, person, Spike said as he slash she ran closer to the mean guy. The mean guy said, Who are you? And wait a minute. You're Spike the Magical Magician. I was just about to come to your show. Are you off there now? Well, no, actually. I was wondering if you knew where Mrs. Green and her family are because she rang up and said that her chihuahua, Choco, was stuck up a tree and I don't know where her house is. So, could you show me the way? Yes, of course. In fact, did she ever mention someone called Silly Soap to you? If she did... I am Silly Soap. No, you can't be because I just met Silly Soap because he was at my place having a cup of invisible toothpaste. Well, you're wrong because I am the one and only Silly Soap. So which way do I go to get to Mrs. Green's house, Silly Soap? Um, you would want to go to the direction of Queenstown, probably. Thanks, I'd better be on my way. I hope you enjoy the show. Same. Bye. Bye. Not, I don't want to go to the show. Meanwhile, at Mrs. Green's house, the real silly soap was getting Zoe the seven-year-old girl, Mike the 12-year-old boy, Mum the 40-year-old lady, and Dad the 45-year-old man out of the house. They could hear Spike rushing towards the house, yelling, Get into the car! Quick! The mean guy is on his way! They all scrambled into the car quickly, just in time, because three minutes, 33 seconds later, the mean guy arrived at the house and screamed himself hoarse that he melted into teeny, tiny, green pieces. Back at the house, Zoe and Mike were dancing around. Mum and Dad were having drinks and Silly Soap, well, let's just say that he has found a home that he can call home. Silly Soap, Zoe, Mike, Mum and Dad all moved into Spike's house and they all lived happily ever after. As for the mean guy, I don't think he lived that happily at all, Zoe said, and a big whoop, whoop. 
went up. <laughs>